if this one doesn't work, I got to say Samsung has a really big problem on their hands. And if you actually Google it, there's a ton of people that have the same exact issue I have. And it's like... Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on the more premium end of Samsung soundbars. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to put a, like a good picture of this right now, but I'm going to try to take a video of them. Basically, the soundbars that look like this, they're like the more premium versions and usually they're Q something. I actually look at open boxes, I kind of hunt them and I found just an absolute steal on two different Q variations of the Samsung soundbar and Q seems to be their more expensive kind, the more premium kind, really um, hard and thick and <laughs> this one is a little bit heavier, but as you can see, the same size and all that kind of stuff, right? So start with the Q800. I had the Q800, which I guess is like more, the more that you go up in the number, the better it is. So the Q800, I had that one and basically I, I would plug it in and I would try to use the HDMI hookup and it would just shut off after like five minutes. It didn't matter if I had optical in, it doesn't matter if I had HDMI in, it didn't matter if I was, you know, it was connected by Bluetooth, nothing would work on it. I would, it would play for five minutes or so, and then it would do like a very just staticky, and then like it would just, my TV would switch back to its normal audio, and then whatever setting I was in, it would be switched on the soundbar. I ended up returning with that one. I really wanted to exchange it for another Q800 because I was like that you guys promised me one, like give me one that works. So things couldn't finagle that. So they just gave me my money back. Like, the next time I'm looking and I see another just killer deal on this like Q750. Now apparently the 750 is only from Best Buy and the 50 is basically like, it's like the Q700, but then it comes with two rear speakers. So it's like basically like an add on to that all, but an all in one package. So I go get that one. He says that the two rear speakers are missing. All of the stuff's missing, the plugs, um, the remote, every, everything except for basically the first two things that I was initially wanting, which was the soundbar and subwoofer. So I get that, I go home and I have the exact same issue. I'm like literally thinking like, is this the same soundbar? Like, cause it's like, it's the, it looks, it looks the same. It feels the same and it cuts off after like five minutes. I'm just like shocked, you know? So I returned that one. And now today I'm about to um, try out this one. This is the Q600C. So this is, this is going to be like the last time I'm going to even give this a shot. Shot. If this one doesn't work, I got to say Samsung has a really big problem on their hands. And if you actually Google it, there's a shit ton of people that have the same exact issue I have. And it's like, um, for this one specifically, there wasn't as many one stars and as more, there wasn't as many of the same complaint, which was, you know, which would disconnect, the Wi-Fi would interrupt it. Um, you know, all these things that people would say. So I haven't actually tried all the fixes. Like, um, I, tr I think I tried to update the firmware. I couldn't figure out how to do it. But people say even after you update it, it's like still messed up. I'm just so sick of like, you know, just a product like not working and have no one having any explanation for it. Like apparently Samsung won't talk about it. The last two ones I tried were um, the 800B and the 750B. So this is the C version. So it's like the next year, like as, as, as like they go down the alphabet, it becomes newer. These, these sound bars and subwoofer systems will be so a freaking amazing if they would work, but they don't. And it's like, I mean, I can handle a lot of stuff, but like not working on, on any mode after five minutes, like that's like, I don't even want to use that thing, you know? And it would be like at night and stuff. So all of a sudden this big static -y thing would be there like, dang. So anyways, guys, have you tried Samsung sound bars? Do you like um, any specific kind of sound bar out there? Like I got a cheap one from my grandma that was LG. Seems to do the job, you know, pretty nice, pretty decent, but it was very cheap and it wasn't the most impressive sound I've ever heard. And then I'd have a Samsung A550, which is actually pretty solid. It's, it's a kind of like a, uh, officially it would be like a, like an entry level sound bar, but I really, really like it. So anyways, guys, that's just my thoughts on the, the Samsung sound bars. Let me know what you think of them down below. I'll probably shoot just a little update video after I plug this in, in my room. I'll let you guys know if this one works because like there's no explanation for it. Like Best Buy should be talking about it. Best Buy shouldn't even be accepting these if they have these problems. And then Samsung should be talking about it. Like these are your more premium sound bars. Like what are you doing? So right, I'll see you guys in like, like in a couple seconds for you guys. But when I get home and try out the sound bar. All right, guys. So this one appears to be the winner. This one is the Q600C. Now, I just was telling you guys before, I've actually been trying this one out for like about a week now. So I can tell you for sure that it does not have any of the other issues that the other ones, which were the Q800B and the Q750B, both of which were supposed to be more expensive than this. I did get them on open box, but there was a lot of people online complaining about all sorts of like same issues, same one that I had that would basically disconnect and all these other things. But I don't know if it's because it's uh, the C variation, so maybe they fixed it. I don't know if it's because this one specifically doesn't have Wi-Fi. 
And I don't think it connects to the Smart Things app, which is something that people complained about or said that was po a possible fix in the other soundbar. So, so this one is a little bit smaller than the rest of them. It's, but it's like to be honest, it's really bulky still. So it's like I almost wouldn't want it any bigger in certain cir certain circumstances. Um, the bass is really good right down here. Everything just seems to like work very well, just like how I expected. And yeah, I just I mean I love this love this thing and like. I actually just figured out how to turn the Bluetooth on because like I've had a couple of sound, sound bars from Samsung and I couldn't figure out how to connect to Bluetooth. And even after I watched a video like from Samsung, they didn't really explain how to do it. So you basically just turn it on until it says like Bluetooth over here and then you just hold down the source button. It kind of like cycles through the sources. You're able to turn it on when it's already off. I just love that feature because you just you come home, you jump in the bed, jump on the couch and you just don't want to move, but you want to turn your speaker on. It's like that easy. So I want to just show you guys real quick. I mean, this is such a basic feature, but I just love it. And it'll just like, it'll find it and just turn it on. Love that. Same with your TV. If you connect to this through Bluetooth, it'll, you can turn it on from the TV every time, which I just, to me, it's such a huge benefit, a huge plus. I really, really like it. So anyways, guys, the Q600C, I love it. It does not have any of the similar issues. And I just really wish that Samsung can prevent those because these are amazing soundbars minus those issues. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of Samsung soundbars and soundbars in general. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.